everyone and welcome to this new playlist. If you're excited to get started with Creative 2, also known as UEFN, then this is exactly what you'll be looking for. I have a background as a programmer and game designer using the Unreal Engine for several years and providing teaching and online learning content for almost as long. And I'll be taking a lot of that knowledge to run you through getting started with Creative 2 using the new interface provided, which very much resembles the Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine 5. This is targeted at people who have either been using the creative editor before, where you've been obviously doing a lot of your work inside of the Fortnite map environment, or those completely new to this and just want to get started and know how to get around the interface, the editor, and all of the different terminologies and things like that, starting from the very beginning. And one of the main questions I see going around at the moment that I just wanted to cover up is if you're already using Fortnite Creative, why would you even be interested in adding an extra editor and uh, extra things to learn? The simple answer is the just sheer amount of flexibility that you're gonna get from using this. You have so many new options from creating your own particle effects, importing your own meshes and assets. And towards the end, we'll even be looking at the new verse scripting language, meaning that you can add whatever functionality that you want into your game mode to really flesh out the, the design and the vision that you have. So if this is something that sounds interesting, we're going to get started now. We're going to jump straight into getting everything downloaded, installed, and ready to go. So one of the first things that we're going to need to do is unfortunately download and use the Epic Launcher. Now, this is probably going to be one of the most painful parts of this, but fortunately we will only need to use the Epic Launcher when we want to open our project and we won't see this very often. So if you don't already have the launcher installed, we'll need to jump over to the unrealengine.com website. We want to navigate to the download section and then on this page, we have the download launcher button. If you already have it installed, of course, or if you think you might already have it installed, you can check. Uh, but the main thing is we're going to make sure that we have this downloaded and installed. So it's a very simple installation process. I won't go through all of that with you, uh, but just download this somewhere on your system, follow the installation process. It's pretty much automated, and then it, you'll be ready to jump into the next stage. With the Epic Launcher installed, you should have something that looks like this. This is going to be your starting page if you press the store. So the store tab just here, this is where we want to be. You can come in here, this is where you can download or buy games on the Epic Store if you so wished. You can see at the moment we have Unreal Editor for Fortnite at the top right hand side here. So it's in like the newest category. And of course, if you can't see this at the time of watching, then just go through browse or uh, search for this. Uh, it may change name as we uh, progress, but basically we're looking for the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Click on this, and then this will give you an option to purchase it. The purchase is free, but it's just classing as adding that to your account. And then when you have that, it will give you the option to come in here and install this to your system, kind of like a game. And you can see it will probably ask you to install Fortnite as well. This may take a little while, so get that going in the background. And then again, once you have that, you're ready to go and we can actually jump straight in to the Unreal Editor. Perfect, so with that downloaded and installed, we're going to go to the Unreal Editor. Now this is one of those unintuitive things. The Epic Launcher is uh, known to be a little bit of a shoddy mess. Do keep in mind, don't keep pressing things here. There's no feedback for some reason, but when you press one of these buttons over here, this will actually launch something for you. And if it's something which takes a little while to load, what you might find is that it feels as though nothing's happened, but just, just be patient. So if I click this now, I need to wait several seconds. We can see it changes here to running. Although nothing at all is happening, uh, we can see it's then finally taking me to the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So this is going to be the thing we want to see happening next. Again, depending on your system specs and hardware, this may take a little while. It may open almost immediately. And what you'll see next is we have a blank project. We won't be using this one, but this opens by default. We'll have a welcome screen and you can get this to go away if you take this to only show unseen news on the startup. I'll leave this at the moment. There's quite a lot happening, so it's going to be nice to have this presented up front nice and early. What we want to do is we'll say done. We'll see this page just here. Now, this is our project browser. If you already have projects made through this, this is where you'll find these being stored. This will just direct you to the location on your system. If you are brand new to this, which is uh, what I'm assuming, then what you want to do is we'll look down here under the islands templates or the feature examples. As the names would suggest, this will be a collection of examples of different features. So specifically things like we can see here, the first two are game modes. So our detonation template or elimination template. We then have a starter pack for looking at how to implement devices, which are your uh, mechanical and feature based classes that we'll be adding a little bit later in the playlist, uh, parkour and so on. Then the islands, these are pretty much empty in regards to functionality. They are just a starting example of your, your assets, the terrain, 
uh, the meshes and things like that which will make up the visual elements of your world so if you wanted to start with get an idea of how you might put these together or just have a, a ground to start editing then you have a bunch of different islands templates that you can work with of course if you wanted to start completely fresh and you have something in mind that you want to make completely custom you can start with the simple one this actually has some functionality implemented in the map as well or completely blank if you wanted to go from a completely empty canvas in this case i'm just going to go from a project i've made a little bit earlier I've gone with the simple so you can see under my project i have the simple map uh, if you wanted to create one of these though you would click on this you provide this a name so you could call this the new simple map you would go to where you want this to be stored on your system it's going to be good to have a good project organization set up so maybe creating a folder specifically for uefn content and then you can have all of your custom projects named pretty clearly in there because otherwise it's very very easy to get carried away making new projects and forget which one was doing what type of thing. Uh, but when you have all of that set up, you simply press create. That will create the project and open that for you automatically. As I said, though, I already have one of these ready to go. So to save a little bit of time, I'm just going to go back to my projects, double click on this, and this will open my simple example map that I have. And there we are. We are now in our first UEFN Unreal Editor session for our project. As I said, this one does have some functionality, which is quite nice. So we have a class down here, our glass wave. If we were to press play, which I'll show you a little bit later on, uh, we can actually immediately come in. And this is one thing that we can start playing around with and customizing. So there's some interactivity already available in this first very simple map. But if this is the first time that you've ever opened this editor, it can be quite a lot to take in. And that's what we're going to look at next is just getting comfortable with the Unreal Engine interface, the editor, how we can just navigate around this, just so that when you want to start creating your own content, it will be that much easier for you to know roughly how and where things are located. And just getting comfortable learning how to actually navigate and use the interface early on can save you a lot of time when you do start getting into prototyping and implementing the features that you want for your game.